in this video tutorial i am going to cover xpath by attribute we have different types of xpaths are available in selenium in which xpath by attribute is the one of the xpath type so uh, to working on the xpath by attribute what are the things we need to follow this means to identify the element uniquely so we can we can include the attribute in the xpath expressions using this syntax so for this syntax is contains the tag name then attribute at attribute name equal to attribute value that should be value should be in the single quotes for example so a tag name is the input and uh, at i am using so attribute name is the id and uh, user name is the attribute value this is the for example so we can use more than one attribute in the xpath expression uh, in that case we have to go for and operator and or operator so uh, when we will go for and operator and when we will go for or operator so this example i had shown over here so uh, here we are using at what is the meaning of this or uh, meaning this is uh, so for that means search for the element in all the four directions it is going to search for all the directions okay then so we, we are uh, we are using the uh, syntax of uh, the tag name attribute name equal to attribute value okay and now uh, then i will be going to show you some examples so in xpath we can include attributes in the both like absolute xpath and relative xpath uh, okay let me go to the uh, google uh, yeah so just inspect the element how we have to identify the attribute value means just uh, here inspect the element you will find this option okay here okay then just uh, click i mean uh, type the control f here so you will find this option this is not required go here and then control f then you will uh, find this option called as find by a string a selector or xpath okay now i want to find this uh, expression whether it is how, how we have to search on the expression means tag name means input is the tag name over here double power slash and input then you have to as per the syntax you have to tag the at symbol then so uh, here i will be taking the attribute called as this one i am going to take i will be going to add for single quote okay then i have to close it just anchor on it you will find one of one that means our whatever order we have written this expression is correct i am just taking this one copy the this expression let me go to the eclipse i will just already i have drawn this script i am directly uh, write the xpath expressions so i am suggesting you to kindly refer the previous videos you will understand how to use uh, start the code for this and uh, find the element by dot x path whatever that expression x expression is there i'm just uh, copied here okay i will be creating one variable now just sending some parameters
save the script and go to run and run the script. Now the browser got launched and then it is added the URL of that. Now so now the parameter had uh, passed over here. So uh, our syntax, I mean XPath expression is working fine. So like this we have to work on it. You have to write our own XPath. So let me uh, be show you for the AND operator. Same thing I will be showing you for the using AND operator. Don't use any tools uh, for online tools. Try to, try to write your own XPath so you will understand how we have to work on the expression. So I am going to use type as well. So now it is showing like one of one. Now this expression is correct. So I will Instead of this, I will be showing and operator. Now it is one of one, enter on it, and this is also working correct. I will be going to show you for or operator. Yeah, now it is showing like one of one. So uh, for try to write your own XPath ex uh, attribute uh, XPath expressions, more example you have to practice it. For it is very, very easy to do the without any using the tool and all. Yeah, now it is a uh, parameter has got passed successfully working fine. So uh, same thing you have to work on more examples on using uh, XPath by attribute. Um, if you have any uh, doubt on this one, questions on this one, kindly comment in the comment section and uh, kindly I am requesting you to subscribe this channel. If you have any questions, add in the comment section. Okay, thank you.